The next presentation will be given by Joanne Morgan. It's called The Effect of Age and Temperature on Spawning Time in Gadowitz. Welcome, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. Good morning, everyone. Um, I have a hard act to follow, but I knew that would be the case. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about some work that I've been doing with uh, Peter Wright of Marine Scotland and Rick Rideout, who works in the same lab as me in St. John's, Newfoundland at Fisheries and Oceans. And as Jonah said, it's on the effect of age and temperature on spawning time in gadoids. Um, as we've heard a couple of times, I think, already this meeting, uh, timing of reproduction can be important for the offspring survival. Uh, if you put your eggs out there at a time of year where the conditions are terrible, they're not going to survive. And we also have seen from a lot of different work over the years that um, there are a number of different factors that can affect the timing of reproduction, and amongst them are the age of the spawners and the temperature. Um, and these two things have sort of gained a little bit more importance or uh, being highlight highlighted a bit more lately because um, of the fact that uh, we know that exploited fishes often have a truncated age distribution, so that if your um, time of spawning changes with age, then this could end up with a different spawning time for the population as a whole and different uh, recruitment success for the population. And of course, if there's climate change and temperature changes, this could change the time of spawning. And if this is not changing in the correct synchrony with other things that are changing in the environment, then you could have a decrease in reproductive success. So we wanted to uh, look at age and temperature effects on spawning time in some commercially exploited cod and haddock stocks. Um, this has been looked at before in gadoids, but we wanted to update it and sort of look at uh, uh, some very different areas. We looked at um, fish on both sides of the Atlantic. So around Newfoundland, we looked at northern cod, which is uh, here, 2J3KL, southern Grand Banks cod, which is uh, in 3NO, and the cod stock off the south coast of Newfoundland, which is in 3PS. Now, for northern cod, we only had data at the correct time of year for the 3L portion of the stock. Fish in the, our area in Newfoundland are mainly spring spawners, and in, come back, there you are, 3NO and 3PS, they spawn mostly uh, in April, May, and they spawn a bit later in 3L in, <laughs> this area, uh, where they spawn in May and Ju June. And what we uh, looked at this in this area was the proportion of fish that were spent to, as a our measure of spawning time. In the North Sea, uh, we looked at North Sea haddock and North Sea cod, and these fish spawn mainly in March. And here we were modeling the proportion of fish that were in spawning condition. So we had different uh, types of data, different temporal and spatial uh, 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 quality of the data. And what we did was we looked at age and uh, year effects first, and we modeled uh, the proportion, whether it was spawning or spent, using generalized linear models with binomial error and a logit link function. And then we included an age effect as a factor, so not continuous, uh, or a year effect as a factor, again, not con continuous. So age effects. Hopefully you can see this okay. This is the North Sea. Uh, the top uh, two panels are for cod. Uh, if I can get the mouse to show up here, here we are. These are females here and males here. And we have haddock females and haddock males. And on the y-axis is the day that 50% of the fish are estimated to be spawning. And on the x-axis is age. And uh, there were clear patterns in uh, the effective age on spawning time in both cod and haddock. And in this case, um, the older fish were spawning earlier. So you can see very clearly here for uh, haddock females that the uh, day of 50% of the fish are, sp are spawning is uh, earlier than the, the earliest, the youngest age, which is, I have to put my glasses on, age two. Um, 
uh, but you can see that it's also not uh, uh, continuous. It's a sort of a step function with the older ages all having more or less the same spawning time and then the youngest ages spawning earlier. And we also found clear age effects in around Newfoundland. Uh, the top uh, two panels are uh, the fish in 3L. Uh, females are here and males here. And then we have 3NO, females and males, and 3PS, females and males. And day 50% of the fish are spent. And you see we have a lot more ages in our spawning uh, populations than in the North Sea. And we also found, as I said, very clear uh, age effects, uh, highly significant. Uh, but in this case, older fish spawn later rather than earlier. And again, it's not a continuous effect, but rather more of a step function. So, like I said, we have clear age effects, uh, but we have this thing that we didn't expect, where it seems like uh, the older fish are spawning earlier in the North Sea and later around Newfoundland. And they have very different, they live in very different types of environments and they have different uh, patterns of energy acquisition and allocation. And perhaps this is playing a role. Uh, in the North Sea, the fish continue to feed and build up energy until close to spawning time. And Peter has some work um, that indicates that the older fish are in much better condition earlier in the year, while the younger fish are having to continue to build up their condition and they may not have enough energy to spawn until later. Around Newfoundland, the fish spawn in the spring and they gain, uh, acquire their energy in the previous summer and autumn and they eat very little over the winter time. And so they probably depend a lot more on the storage and transfer of energy in order to spawn. And it may uh, be that the younger fish have to spawn earlier in order to then start building up um, energy again before they sort of run out of energy because of course they're using energy all the time even though they're not eating. So this is just a speculation on our part but it's a possible explanation for why we see this difference. So then we wanted to look and see if we had any temporal effects. Are there year effects? And yes there are. Um, it wasn't for North Sea Cod. We didn't find any significant variation across year for North Sea Cod in uh, at time of spawning, but this is uh, haddock females and males, and day 50% spawning uh, across a year, and there was significant interannual inter variation in the spawning time for haddock, but we didn't see any clear pattern in it. It was just variable. Around Newfoundland, we also saw uh, significant year interannual variation, um, and down in 3PS, uh, where we don't have that many years where we have a significant model fit to the data, we didn't see any uh, pattern. Uh, but uh, multiple comparisons in 3L and 3NO, and you can see it very well here for 3N, 3L females, show that in these two areas, in more recent times, fish are spawning later. But in Newfoundland, younger fish spawn earlier, but now the population as a whole is spawning later. So we figured there had been a truncation in the uh, age range under exploitation. Is that actually the case? Because the opposite should happen if it has been. Well, we looked at the North Sea as well as around Newfoundland. Uh, there has been truncation uh, in the age composition uh, in the North Sea, but it occurred mostly before the time that we have spawning time estimates. And you can see for North Sea cod, this line here, there hasn't been much change over the time period that we have estimates of spawning time. For haddock, uh, it's fairly stable over the time period, but there has actually been a bit of an increase in the mean age of the spawners um, in recent years. Around Newfoundland, indeed, we had what we expected. At the, in all of the areas, there was a decrease in the mean age of the spawners. So there has been a truncation in spawning um, age or in, in the age composition in all areas. So why is spawning later? Because if younger fish spawn younger, and the mean, uh, spawn, younger fish spawn younger, yeah. If younger fish spawn, <laughs> spawn earlier, and the mean age of the SSB has gone down, how can the, the fish have, the population have shifted to later spawning? Well, it turns out that all of the ages are spawning later. 
So it's not just a population level effect caused by truncation of the spawning time or anything like that. Every age is spawning later. Um, the sort of triangles here that are red, if you're not red, green, colorblind, uh, are the age eight for 3L. And the black circles is age five. And you can see that spawning has become uh, later as time has progressed for both the young and the old age. And the same in 3 and 0, we have uh, age 7 here and age 9. And so you can see, you know, the young fish are spawning earlier, but both the young and the old fish are spawning later uh, in more recent time period. And I don't know why. Of course, temperature could be part of the issue. So we had already planned to do, uh, to look at temperature effects, so we continued on with that. In this case, what we did was we put together growing degree days for each area during the period of gametogenesis, and then we looked to see whether there was any correlation with um, the residuals from the age effect model. This uh, slide is just to uh, show you the difference in the different areas. This is the North Sea. You can see that uh, the temperatures that the North Sea fish live in are much warmer than the temperatures that the fish live in around Newfoundland. Uh, in 3PS, it's the warmest place around Newfoundland for cod, and they occasionally get up there into the stratosphere with uh, the North Sea. But for the most part, um, and, and, and surely for 3L and 3 and O, they <clears throat> live at much colder temperatures, and 3L living at the coldest. So to look at each area on its own to see what happens. In the North Sea, we did have a bit of a trend to uh, uh, warmer uh, conditions over time. In 3L, it's pretty variable, but um, from the about mid-90s to 2005 or so, we did see some trend to warmer conditions. In 3 and 0, there's a very clear trend to warmer conditions starting in about the mid-90s. And in 3PS, it's pretty variable. And when we looked at this, we didn't see any significant correlation of growing degree days with the residuals from the age effect model. Uh, we want to work on this a bit more because we want to look into it a bit more closely and we're not sure whether we've, there might be better ways to analyze this. But at the moment, we're not seeing any clear indications of a temperature effect within populations. So just to go over what we found, uh, there's clearly age effects in all of these populations. And they are not continuous. Uh, they're more of a step function type, uh, uh, type thing. Young fish seem to spawn earlier in Newfoundland, while old fish seem to spawn earlier in the North Sea. And this could be the result of differences in the seasonal pattern of energy acquisition and allocation. We found significant interannual variation in all areas, but there was only a pattern in this variation in 3NO and 3L. And in both of these areas, their fish are spawning later in recent period. And all ages have shifted to uh, later spawning. And we don't see any clear indication of temperature effects within a population. There's obviously temperature effects across populations. In the North Sea, the fish are in the warmest conditions, and they spawn earliest in March. In 3L, the fish are in the coldest conditions, and they spawn the latest in May, June. But when you look within each population, so far we haven't seen an indication of a temperature effect. And perhaps the biggest thing that we've learned during this study is that when you're working with regular research vessel survey data on your regular routine um, uh, assessment monitoring programs, your, the temporal and spatial re resolution of your data is not really what you'd want in order to look at this. What we think we can uh, still look at it a bit, but it's certainly would be much easier if we had dedicated spawning surveys. And that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>